Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas day four. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock, a little bit after 11, so kind of a late start to the Vlogmas day, but I had just kind of a slow morning. I woke up pretty early, but I just kind of lounged around and had some coffee and just relaxed a little bit. I'm going to go drop off an order at the post office, grab a quick bite to eat, and today uh, I'll take you along as I do some more yarn winding. I kind of showed that, uh, that the project that I was working on and get those all on the yarn wall. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of sewing, I think, today. We'll see if I get to the sewing part. I have to cut some fabric. It's going to be for bags for myself, and I'll show you that, the fabric here in just a second. Um, as well as the yarn. And then I'm still knitting on my cowl, the cowl that wouldn't end. Uh, but today I'm going to actually cast on the socks that I talked about. I'm not going to wait anymore because we're already into the fourth day of December and I just don't want to get too far behind. And I had talked about how one of those is a gift for Adrian and I don't want to, there's only three weeks, holy cow, three weeks until Christmas from today. So I don't want to wait on that because I really want to give those to him for Christmas. So uh, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the fabric that I'm going to make because I need some bags for some of these projects for my... Okay, so here are the fabrics that I'm going to use. And these are just leftovers from what I have in my shop. I have some of these. I'll try to show it close up. You can't really see, but there, these are like gold metallic lines. So I really loved this. It was kind of a non-traditional Christmas print. This I have called holiday lines. I don't mind on my shop. And these are zipper only as well as this. This is my copper Christmas trees print. So, and I'm, I'm gonna do the, a red bottom on this and then this gray dark gray is going to be the bottom for this and these are going to be zipper bags and I'm actually going to play around with my small size I kind of talked about that in a podcast episode so these are going to be kind of my experiments for that to play with the size to see what I like I think I'm going to take down my small bag the size of it about an inch and a half in the width so not very much but it'll just kind of narrow it just as just a smidge and I'll see if I like that or not and I'll show it to you guys once I get it done and show you a comparison and you can let me know if you like the old size or the new size and then I know it's kind of early we're still in Christmas but I'm going to experiment with these guys oh how cute are these don't mind those socks <laughs> so this Valentine's print I got last year a red polka dot print I got to go on the inside and I was thinking about what I what I wanted to do like what bags I wanted to make and I think because I haven't seen this back in the store yet and I haven't looked recently so it might be there but I only got a little bit of this and enough to match so I got a yard of each but what I think I'm gonna do is make window bags so like the Grinch ones that I showed and I had some people ask me if I was gonna make other window bags but I think this would look super cute as a window bag and of course it'll only be one size so the pattern that I bought only has the one size and that size I showed it is big enough for two skeins to sit in it so I don't I mean unless someone really wanted like a window blanket bag or sweater bag but for now I'll just make the one size and I think I could get quite a few window bags out of these two. So this would obviously be the outside panel on the back and the strips on the outside. This would be the inside that you can see through the peekaboo window and the handle. And then I'll probably just do a black zipper with a black zipper pull. So uh, I'll show that when I get that done and I'm going to play with the interfacing too on that. Um, It'll be a little bit different from the ones that I did make to, just to kind of see if I like a different way that I'm going to do it. So I'll let you guys know and I'll show you what it looks like and the kind of the structure of it. So I think that'll look super cute for Valentine's Day. I'm super excited about that. 
And I know I just talked yesterday about how I wanted to get away from doing holiday specific bags, but I'm still going to throw them in there. You know, like these ones are super cute. And I, I mean, me personally, I think you can use them all year long if you want to. I mean, they're more fun around a holiday, but like this heart and bag, I mean, you could use it any time of the year. So, uh, I'll let you know how that goes. And obviously the small, the smaller size for these bags, these will just be for me for right now. And then if you are interested in the two Christmas prints that I showed, the copper Christmas tree or the holiday lines one, the holiday lines one, I have medium and large in my shop still, they're just zipper only, no drawstring. And then the copper Christmas tree, I think I only have one large one left. Actually, that wasn't true. I just checked. I have one large and one medium in the copper Christmas tree. So if you like that print, and that's definitely more of a neutral holiday print. It's not Christmas specific or even really seasonally specific. You could, you could use that all year long for sure. And those just have a gray inside like I showed, a light gray fabric. So anyway, I'm going to head to the post office, drop that package off, and I will check back in with you guys probably when I start cutting this fabric or I think I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth. I'm going to wind some yarn a little bit, cut some fabric, knit for a little bit, just kind of bounce around and do a couple of different things today. And that's probably going to be the whole weekend. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys then. I'm kind of tired. It is almost 9 30 at night and I didn't do any of the stuff that I talked about today. I didn't cut the fabric or any of that. So that'll hopefully be tomorrow's project. I did, however, I did say I was going to cast on some socks today and I finally did one. I started the toe of one of my Cozy Knitter Advent socks. So this one is, the toe is completely done, so I'm ready to add in the color, but as you can see, I'm gonna do these two at a time. So tomorrow I'm gonna cast on the other toe and get started with the stripes. So I'll at least have those going. My hope tomorrow is that I can catch up on the stripes. So I'll update you on that when there's more to tell. <laughs> um, and for my cowl, I added 10 rows yesterday and I've currently added 20 rows. I'm working on the next 10, so it'll be 30 total. And I think after that, I'm going to do the ribbing. And I rewound the ball or the cake. And so the last time I weighed this, I had, uh, I think 16 or 17 grams. So I think once I get through the next seven rounds, I'm gonna call it good, do the ribbing and the bind off. And whatever I have left will just go in like a mini, my, the mini container I have over there. And so here, let me see if I can It's so long. Oh my gosh. I should measure it to see. But I feel like it's going to be like very squishy up against my neck, which is what I want. I didn't want a cowl that had a lot of like room at the neck. You know, I wanted something to keep me warm. So anyway, that'll be my final check-in the night I didn't record any clips of our dinner. I just made some homemade spaghetti sauce and spaghetti and it was delicious. And we just watched a little TV and you know, today was kind of a lazy day and that's okay. So anyway, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.